Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so, uh... The challenges become even more difficult from here. Let's go ahead and give that, uh, Lion King Plague Queen battle a second, uh, chance, shall we? She waits for you. Patient, but ultimately destructive. And away we go. Your currency is spent, your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play Ooh, with. I like this. Yoink. Alright. Yay! At least it's not the witch like last time. You reach a trading post in a distant valley, run by a strange old woodsman. I've not much use for gold myself, but I'll trade you for food supplies. Okie dokie. Let's make this sporting. You give me the food, and I'll give you something from the back where I keep the good stuff. Um, mur, 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 mur. Shield. Um, I believe we have decent armor, and obviously we have the Lion Helm. So let's get, uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the shield. I hope you like it. I traded away a ton of amber gems to get it. Draw one a couple and card. Shield. Really? This is... We traded our food for this shit? <sighs> sure, why not? We'll keep the shinier shield. Great, now we're gonna be hungry. Awesome. Leave the trading post and head back into the forest. The Maiden. <sighs> One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortal of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Well, well, since we're out of food now, food would be nice. This bread will sustain you for many days. The dealer draws you two gain cards. Two food gain cards. Three food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Huzzah! Five food. We only got back a fraction of what we lost. Remember, mortal, that bold heroes make great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of God's monsters. <laughs> Okie dokie. Drawing mage. Oh, well, we have 25 gold. Uh, in the shady grove of the beaten tail, you find a merchant. Oh, uh, Wayne's name, so. Mages sell only specific items that they've discovered in faraway lands. Their prices can be high, but they also pay well for anything that catches their interest. Greetings, my Strower. I have much to offer you. Alright, um, Dragon Ring. We cannot afford. Ernie's Antlers. What does take double damage from player's attacks? Mm. Plunderer's Cap. When you draw supplies, draw two and pick one. Hag's Wraps. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. Ooh. I do believe we can sell our other crap shield. Oh. This is nice. Um... Ring of Sights, all encounters are revealed upon reaching the stickers. Yoink! Still not enough gold though. Um, Ring of Hindsight, we don't really need it. Just have enough now. All right, Hag's wraps. Interesting choice. Very interesting. And bye bye. <clears throat> All right. Angry Guildmaster. There's a token in it for you. As you're traveling down the dark streets of 
Stigel one night, a nobleman atop a mighty steed nearly knocks you down. Humbly apologize. Out of my way, peasant, he calls as he rides away. My daughter has run away with the vagabond. Ba -ba -bong. Blood auction. Win this and claim my token. In the moonlit ruins of a long forgotten castle, a host of unholy creatures gather. You discover that vampires are hosting secret blood auctions. Mortals are allowed to bid using their own blood. Um, well, we barely have enough health as it is, so I think we shall uh, stay the fuck away from uh, one of these things for now. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have enough blood. You leave discreetly. Ooh, a new card. Oh wait, there. Although this sail is Sail away card. and see what you will find. Sail, come sail away, sail, sail away. Your journey will take your cost to sea. You have discovered the exit to this area. Board the ship. You embark upon the next leg of your journey. Once, <coughs> many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? Yes, actually I am. I'm playing video games to not think of how shitty my life is. Food wagon! You come across a broken down wagon laden with food, its owner nowhere in sight. Go out and offer help. Oh, thank God you're here, a merchant leaps out from the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart, and I hid in the trees. Please, accept this food as thanks. You gain some food. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Boom. Buy food. Noise. Traveling healer. In the shady beaten off ground, we find a merchant again trying to heal specialized in curing wounds and also have some skill at removing curse. I don't think we really need anything here. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Yeah, we don't really need to heal wounds, and do we have any curses? Oh, negative aura. Uh, whenever the player loses a curse, they also lose one on our... So what happens if we lose this particular curse? Uh, sell items... Uh, nah, 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 nah. Don't really need to sell anything in particular. Don't even have gold to buy. Food some. Meh. Just none that yada yada. Oh. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Yeah, no. See, we haven't been in combat yet, and this guy has low health, and he gains health by uh... Flee in terror! Flee! Run away! Run away! The end of the horror barely registers your existence as you run screaming from her presence. Wise choice in the end, at least for now. Right, left or right? Where do we want to go? Baby! Baby! Ah, my dog is barking at things in the window. Baby! Baby, enough. Baby, enough! Curse Gambler. In an old tavern at the edge of the dark forest, you meet a gambler. Can try my own Baby! Decline. Fortune fears the bull, the stranger man repeats as you leave. Later, you stand outside the tavern and realize that some of your food is missing. Motherfucker! Baby! Enough! Enough with the barking. Nobody even cares. No one's intimidated by you. Oh, a very cost food. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. Are you sure? 
Well, we have no choice, so yeah. We can hope that, as each card is unveiled, as each new concept is explored, that we learn something about ourselves, or something about you, at least. Alicia and the Underworld. Ah, oh, motherfucker, I hate this one. We play for a token now. As you, oh, we don't even have. Never mind. We, you need to pay gold and... Ah, fuck it. As you attempt to discover more about the bizarre portal that you encountered, <clears throat> one name keeps recurring. A mystic named Alicia. Apparently her expertise on all aspects of Shadow Realms, interdimensional travel, and beasts of the void are, is unparalleled. You, tr you track Alicia's caravan. She travels under the guise of a fortune teller. Her appearance doesn't match the whispers about her. She's considerably shorter and has much more of a beard. She audibly clears her throat before speaking to you. Welcome, stranger. She recoils in mock blindness. The dark clouds of fate swirl around you in a tempest. For a little gold, I can see your future through the storm. Well, we don't really kind of even have three gold. Explain your interest, blah, 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 but she's not going to care. The mystic looks are nervous before saying, No, what makes you think I know anything about such things? I am but a humble fortune teller. Can I introduce this? Uh, no. You, you decide not to pay for tricks and half-truths and leave the mystic care. So yeah, that's actually her bodyguard. The, uh, the mystic is actually elsewhere. <clears throat> yeah, and plus you gotta pay, and there's... Oh, it's all fucking... Hmm... Let's go like... Hmm, let's go... Ah, either way, I'm gonna have to waste food. Battle or... Preparation is key to success. Yours seems sorely lacking. As you traverse a particularly tricky trail across mountain range, you notice a bark of ravine beneath you. A dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight that reaches the base of that cavern. Climb down and take a look. In the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of a wooden cart. Apparently having fallen down years ago, you find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. It might not sell for much in its current state, but perhaps you can find someone who can use it. You take it and make your way back up the path. Embertown Hero you come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's been seen combat recently. Ask his troubles. I've been chasing a pack of thieves that attacked me in my home village of Embertown. I killed some of them in an ambush, but I fear I lack the strength to chase the rest down. If you have any honor, will you find those jackals and make them pay? Embertown hero. Okay, you again. Yeah, no. No thanks. Later, you leave the town no richer or poorer than you entered. Yeah, because we're shit out of luck. No food, no gold. Mm. Starvation begins to set in. Try to stay calm. Fear will only hasten your demise. We don't really need anything, or we can even afford anything, but I'll take a look. Greetings, Wise Traveler. I have much to offer you. Well, actually, we Is could... Is your equipment more important than your health? Tough questions. That's actually what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I just want to see what I feel gold. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Ooh. Every bandit killed nets the player to gold. Oh, nice. Um, rat cleaver. Hits against ratmen, inflict damage. Double damage. Press Q to cause a force explosion that will stun enemies. Consuming shame. All weapon attacks are enhanced with powerful poison that taints the victim's mind and body. Life's limb. Press Q to inflict the curse of weakening on enemies close to you. Strike a cursed enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. Yes, well, um... Alright, um... Hmm. Okay, well this is a good, this is a good to have so we can get a little bit of extra food, but um... Armor is also nice. 
All right, time to make the hard choices. Um, sell the shield. All right. Um, let's sell the. Hey. And I'll sell the hag wraps, which we got. Actually, now let's keep those. Can we afford some extra food? Oh, fuck. If we can afford two food, then that's something. Alright. Well, these are the kind of hard choices you gotta make in this game, folks. Yo. Yes, we shall be leaving. Lost in the fuck just what we needed. Lost in the desert. Again, a token is at stake. You find yourself lost in the Lana Desert, wandering aimlessly. Pray to the old gods for salvation. Oh, this is not gonna go well. A choice. Select your desire. Your prayers go unanswered, and you are shot by an arrow. Looking up, you see bandits approaching. The dealer draws you two monster cards. The dealer draws you one health pain card. Two of dust, three of dust. Okay. And we lose ten health. Nasty. Mmm. Mmm. This is not going to be a good journey. Alright, we're wounded as hell, and we're basically not going to make it. And we don't even have a shield anymore. Awesome. Fight on! Fight on! Fight on. Mm. Oh, it goes dark. Blood stains the ground beneath your corpse. So <coughs> unfortunate. The cold embrace of death, and the first stuttering steps of new life. Bada bum. Alright, thank you for watching. I'm gonna call this part. Bye bye.